Well, the weather outside is... Well, weather. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about Dark Zone builds. Because uh, about a week ago, I came up with a bonk build um, that was um, recommended to me to try out from one of my uh, buddies, uh, Fear the Beard. And, well, it was a lot of fun. A lot of people liked that bonk build, and, well... I perfected the bonk build and made a dark zone bonk build. Now, it's not just a run-of-the-mill melee build. Oh, no. No, no, no. This, my, uh, my dear agents, is a region god bonk build. So, not only can I melee people to death with ease, but I also have a hundred and 48,000 armor regeneration per second. Yeah. Now, if that doesn't tickle your fancy, here, we're gonna do something else. Roll the footage. Bow! All right, well, we first have to start off with uh, going rogue because we all know people like to go rogue on each other. Well, first I wanna show you myself going rogue. So C Wiggly 23. I'm going to let this uh, extraction go off, but then I'm going to pop Rogue, buddy, just so you know. And I'm only sitting at 133 regions, so I'm not even at max stacks right now. But all right, once this extraction goes off, I'm popping Rogue. All right, here we go. Explosive seeker mine detected. And we're going. Oh, oh, he got me with the seeker. He got me. Hold on. There's one. Come on. Ooh, there's two hits. Oh, one more. One more. Bye-bye. GG's. GG's. But you see, I mean, look at my armor and everything. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. All right, let's keep going. Almost done here. Hold on. Ah! Show you a little bit of the PvE part of this. Oh, let me get that stack. There we go. Who's getting... Oh, a sniper. I mean, you can see, I mean, with all of them shooting me and everything, I could just sit here and melee, and then my armor region will kick in. You see the armor region, and then all of a sudden, boom, I'm back at max stacks. And then look at my bonus armor. It's ridiculous. I mean, it, I mean, come on. This is stupid. There's no stopping this build. I, I have no, you would probably have to have a full team hitting me at once. Or maybe have uh, two people focus fire me while I'm hitting someone else. I don't know. But, I mean, you can see PVE is a cakewalk. And right here, what am I sitting at? 148K region per second. And the other thing I love about this is just, like, the pure melee mayhem. Like, you, you would not guess. Just let's see some numbers here. Hold on. Let me get some numbers. All right, so about 200K with my weapon, okay? Now let's hit him with my shield. Yeah, I got a dog here, hold on. So 220K-ish with my weapon on an NPC. And then watch this crap, watch. 1.7 million. Do you see that? That was a one tap kill. 1.7 million, let me do that again. Hold on, let me show you. Where's the other enemy? Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, I see you, I see you. All right, watch this. 1.7 million one-hit kills, man. Let's go. Yeah, let me put this on the rope. Usually someone will try to mess with me. We'll see. If not, I'm just going to keep one-tapping these enemies. This crap's crazy. Oh, hold on. Right here. Hadouken! <laughs> 1.7 million, dude. All right, hold on. Uh, don't look it. <laughs> and then you see my bonus armor. There's no stopping this, man. There's no stopping this. I'm at 148k region. Let's go. Oh, oh someone po finally, finally. All right. OVG clan Twizzler. I'm sorry, bro. There's one. Ooh, Andy's got a healing knife. Nice. There's two hits. Oh, you're done, bro. Those heals aren't going to get you forever. Oop. See ya. 
Dang. And I'm getting shot at from the NPCs. Let's go. Hadouken! <laughs> I'm still one sh one hitting these NPCs. Nah, this is a purple. That'll be, what, two, three hit? Oh, four hit. There we go. All right, moving on. Woof. All right, so I was doing this heroic. Oh, never mind. Uh, this just normal landmark. What is this? Uh, never mind. It's a hard landmark. Sorry. And I found this sledgehammer guy, so I figured I'd recreate that uh, <laughs> that boss thing I did the other day. I'm trying to take him out. Yo, who's shooting him? Yo, who's shoot? Bro! Why did you sh I would... Dude, I was just meleeing him, man. Come on, dude. Let's go, dude. No, you took the you took the guy from me, man. I'm sorry, but I was trying to melee him. All right, so I'm gonna melee you, okay? I'm sorry, but you, you can't do that. I was trying to melee the sledgehammer guy. I know you're not messing with me. It's all good, but sorry. Take care, brother. See ya. Dude, these enemies will not stop spawning. Come on, thank you. All right, can I finally hit this chest? All right, let me hit this chest. Dude, come on, I'm not trying to. Come on. Landmark has been cleared. Just give me the exotic. Come on. There we go. Come on. Picking it. Ah, he's right behind me. He's gonna shoot me. Yep. There we go. All right. All right. All right. I understand you're mad about the whole melee thing. Hold on. Here we go. There's one hit. There's two hits. And there's three. See ya. Douchebag. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you shot me, dude. <laughs> Man, waiting for the supply drop. Contaminated gear. Oop, I hear all the uh, NPCs. Ooh, someone's behind me, just chilling. Yo, that was creepy AF, dude. Just just showed up out of nowhere. And then Rogue popped a drone on my detected. back. Like, what, what is this guy doing? Hive detected. Yo, if you try to snake this supply drop, I am going to melee you to death. Do not take my supply drop, please. I will, I, I will pop rope. This guy's gonna try to do it. He's gonna try to sneak. Look at him, bro, I, nope, nope. See ya. That was a one hit, dang, 1.7 million, yeesh. That's all right, let me, let me get out of this situation really quick. Yeesh, whew. All right. Get some stacks, there we go, all right. This guy won't. All right, dude. I see you, you sneaky effer. He's back again, man. I don't know. I think I might have to pop rogue on you, dude. I don't like people just sneak, like, being all sneaky behind me, man. This is the dark zone. I get shot in the back way too often to be okay with this. Oh, you're gonna slow clap? Oh, he's got a slow clap. All right, bro. Let's go. I'll get you with half my stacks. Come on. Hadouken! There's one hit. Come on. Come over here. Easy. Easy, dude. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. Come on. There you go. See you later. Emote. Mother. Come on. Come on. I'll show you a little bit of gameplay with the uh, weapon. I mean, you can just see with the amount of uh, healing and damage that I have that I can take on the enemies while being shot by the other enemies with no problem. And then you can just see how my armor regen's just creeping back. I get my trophy, bonus armor, extra damage. Look at this. Easy. And then here's the boss. And jump down, man. There you go. Hadouken! <laughs> All right, keep it going. Just made that heroic look easy. Ouch! Just want to show people a supply drop. Oh my gosh, dude. Alright, well, taking this supply drop solo, and all hell is breaking loose. Hold on. Why is this thing still open? Right, I'm going. 
blow up. There you go. And now I just have the one guy. Jeez, dude. There we go. It's because I'm at, like, no stacks. Yo, that was nice. Melee, weak point, melee. Dead. Come on, am I gonna get an exotic? Come on, come on. Exotic, come on, come on. Ah, oh, man, I'm never gonna get those exotics, dude. Never, never. Oops, oh man, I killed him in the spawn. Oops, crap, crap, crap. Sorry. I almost died. And I took his pestilence, that guy's gonna be pissed. So what just happened, I didn't get to show you, but um, I was taking, I was doing a supply drop. This guy swoops in, takes the supply drop, runs, and apparently he just got a pestilence out of it. And I uh, just took his pestilence. And it Extraction sounds like hero. he's shooting Almost at me. Range. I think he wants his pestilence back. All right, what do you think? You think I should give him a chance? All right, let's give him a chance. All right. Oop. Nice nade. Nice nade. That's a rifle. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think he just tried to shoot me with the ravenous. Holy moly. I'm trying to extract. I want to get this pestilence out. I need a exotics really bad. There we go. Alright. That should be good. Oh, it's just been pulsed. Oh! Enemy patrol detected. Enemy patrol. Let's see what happens. Yep, right here. I like how much health damage. Like, the, it's ridiculous. You get them down to health and melee, and it's it's ridiculous. Look at that, 1.8 million damage. That's crazy. Oh, here's that guy again. Hilo is returning to base. Why did he run like that? 2.7 million. Holy crap, dude. Just hit that guy for 2.7 million. I'm still... Ooh, here's another guy. Who's this? Mad Max. Okay. Go back this way through the alleyway. There we go. Mad Max. Oh, behind me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's two of them. Oh my god. Oh, he's down. That guy's down. Where's the other one? Oh, he's behind me again? Dude, this guy's being sneaky. There he is. There he is. What's up, Mad Max? Come here. Come here. There we go. Oh, one more. Oh, I didn't pull the shield out. Pull the shield out, man. There we go. Oh. Bye-bye. Solo manhunt with a melee build, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna increase the notoriety. I'm already at tier two, so I'm gonna I'm gonna max out the uh, manhunt. I was just messing around, but these people keep coming after me, so I might as well just increase it and just keep it going. Once they leave, I'll get the manhunt off. Come on already! But this is all DZ Bonk build. 148k armor region. I mean, this thing's ridiculous. Just look at my armor bar. This is crazy. Crazy armor. Alright, let's go to that last point. Oop, there's a guy in front of me. Same guy. With a sniper? There's one hit. Two. Dang, dude. Just two tapping people, man. Just two tapping. But anyways, I think everyone left. It was fun. Got a solo manhunt, got a pestilence. Uh, I think a few components, we'll see. Detecting I'm just gonna end up putting them right control. back into the build, so I'll probably just do some more exotic runs after the build breakdown, that way I can get some more exotics, because I am in steady need of uh, more exotic components. But this lobby is now dead, so I'm gonna get this manhunt off and uh, we'll do the build breakdown. Here we go. Solo manhunt tier one. I maxed out the notoriety. So, tier one manhunt. It's wicked. If you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. 
And let's uh, go ahead and jump over removed. to the uh, the build Rope breakdown. Here we go. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now, shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm going to bring to you my best solo build to use right now in the Division 2. My solo Dark Zone Bonk build. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. But this thing is ridiculous. Um, I was doing, oh, actually, I'll show you, eh, I'll, I'll do some live gameplay at the end, okay? Because I did show you all of those clips, and, well, they are really good and fun, but uh, we'll show you some live gameplay after this build breakdown. So I hope you enjoy so we did the intro, we did the clips, now it's time for the build breakdown. Here we go. So starting off at the top, we are using the Firewall Specialization. The reason being is I am using the Striker Ballistic Shield. Now you can only use that shield with this specialization. Now um, that's really the only reason why I'm using it. I can use that med kit that gives me health and armor at the same time, which is nice. But I typically like to use the instant heals because I do have perfectly efficient on this build as, as well. So I'm not really consuming any armor kits when I do those instant heals. And it gives me that opportunity to run and gun, or in this case, run and melee. <laughs> so that's why I'm using the uh, specialization. And that's why I'm using the shield. Now as far as the weapons, I am using both the primary and secondary weapon. However, for all of the meleeing and all of that, you need to be using the Lady Death. Now, the reason being is there's a mod on here called the Kiss of Death. You can see the brass knuckles with the uh, nice little pointy edges, and that gives you 500% melee damage. Now, not only that, but the holster, the claws out, will also give you 500% melee damage. Now, I am using this solo in the Dark Zone. I'm able to do supply drops with ease. I was able to do a solo manhunt. I was able to uh, kill rogues. I was able to do heroic landmarks. All of it. Everything in the dark zone that you need to do, you can do with this build, I promise you. Not only that, but you can do it solo, and you can do it with ease. Not only that, but a majority of the players... Whenever they go to their nearby and they inspect your character and see this build, they are not going to mess with you. A majority of those players are probably going to avoid you because they're going to see what you're rocking. And, well, if they don't, they're really going to uh, stay away from you after you uh, bonk them to death. <laughs> Anyways, starting off with my primary weapon, this is the Lady Death. Now, this is the, the exotic SMG that gives you that talent Breathe Free, which killing an enemy with this weapon will grant me movement speed, but also moving around with this weapon will build stacks, and each of those stacks will give me amplified weapon damage. Now, as far as the uh, weapon stats on this bad boy, we're starting off at 74.5k total damage, but that will go up to about, uh, I think it's about 84, 85k in the dark zone. Once I have all my stacks up, I'll show you uh, in the uh, gameplay whenever we're done with this. And I'm pretty sure I showed you in the uh, clips right before this. But regardless, looking at the uh, attributes, we have max SMG damage, crit chance, and damage to targets out of cover. Now my secondary weapon is the shield splinterer, but you can use whatever it is you want for your secondary. The only reason why I have this is for mid to long range enemies. I can uh, shoot them a little bit with this have them run at me or have them aggroed at me, and then I'll run at them with my melee. But for reference, we're sitting at 81.2k total damage with uh, Expertise 25, damage targets at a cover, and all the attributes are maxed out. And then my sidearm, you can use whatever you want, but for reference, I have the backup boomstick. Damage targets at a cover and close and personal. Now, looking at the build, this is a really, really fun build to use, and once you start meleeing people, they'll freak out. It's glorious. It truly is glorious. Now, the way that this build is set up is you want to get your stacks up. That way you have high weapon damage, and you have your 148k armor region per second. But on top of that, you get more skill efficiency, which helps out your uh, booster hive, and it also helps out your shield. 
So you're even better uh, off whenever you're using these skills. Now remember, just sitting here at the base of ops, my booster hive gives me a buff amount of 30%, and that's weapon handling, hazard, and melee damage, all right? And that's without any of the skill efficiency or anything added from this build. So this is just baseline, 30%. Now, if I go over to my stats, to my hazard, I'm sitting at 40% hazard, which with that you know 30% would put me to 70, but I'm already at 80% burn resistance. So that's going to help me be completely immune to burn stickies, uh, flamethrowers, burn grenades, all that crap. And trust me, they will throw everything and the kitchen sink at you. So you want to get those stacks up to have that skill efficiency. That way your booster hive is a beast. And then you can get through all of those skills and statuses, just melee them to death. I mean, let's be real. Those skill build users, they're like one or two hits and they'll die. For like a tanky person, maybe four hits. And then for like a crazy tanky person, you know, five or six. All right. Now, looking at the build items, we are sitting at 2.1 million armor. And, well, that's mainly due to this backpack. So let's talk about it. This is the Memento backpack. So this gives us a blue, a red, and a yellow core attribute. So that helps us have more armor, more weapon damage, and more, you know, skills. Now, as far as the long-term and short-term buff, this is due to our core attributes. So every time I pick up a trophy, I get 5% weapon damage, helps out the Lady Death. I get 60% bonus armor, which, for obvious reasons, helps me out in the Dark Zone. And I also get 5% skill efficiency. So every time I get a kill and pick up a trophy... All of a sudden, my weapon's better, I'm more tanky, and my skills are better. I mean, it's just a win-win with the memento. But it also gives you long-term buffs. So then you can get 30% weapon damage, 30% skill efficiency, and 3% armor regen on top of those short-term buffs. So I can run around with the 30% buffs and still get those short-term buffs at the same time. And that's why it's so dangerous in the dark zone, because if I'm sitting at max stacks already and you start to pop rogue on me and I pick up some, you know, some memento stacks on the way, that means I'm getting all of those extra, you know, short term buffs on top of the long term buffs. And that's where this build starts to go a little banana pancakes, you know, a little crazy. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Now, as far as the mods, I'm doing all burn resistance because I learned that the number one thing that is the most annoying with uh, trying to counter this build is the fire. So if you can counter the fire, everything else is, I mean, it, it's not a big deal. And whenever you have your full stacks of memento and your skill efficiency is so high, that booster really helps out with everything. So if you ever do get foamed or bled or anything like that, it's only going to work for maybe a second and then it's done. Where that burn, it just it, it's completely ignored. It's really fun. Now, players will also freak out once they start to realize that their skills aren't working on you. So you need to make sure that you take them out with the quickness. That way they don't try to run away. Now, uh, moving on from the Memento, let's talk about Heligard, because we have three pieces, and it is very important why. So, starting off with the mask, this is the chill-out mask. Um, you could easily just run a normal Heligard mask, but I do not have one with Hazard and Armor Regen. So, if you have a mask with Hazard and Armor Regen, by all means, use it. What I did instead is I put two Burn Resistance mods on here, but I would rather have that Hazard. It's just... I'm having really bad RNG trying to get one. But for this build, I'm using the Chill Out Mask. Double burn resistance, and it works like a charm. I have armor regen on here and max armor for the core, not to mention the brand set bonuses give me more armor, 5% total armor to be exact, more health of 60% and 2% armor regen. Uh, going to the gloves, again, Heligard. This one, armor regen hazard the way I want it with max armor for the core. And finally, the knee pads again, Hazard, Armor Regen, and Max Armor for the core. Now that uh, brings us to the chest piece. This is the Everyday Carrier. Now this is the named Bellstone Armory chest piece, 
and that gives us the 1% armor region as a brand set bonus. But with it being the everyday carrier, it comes with the talent perfectly efficient. So using an armor kit has a 75% chance of not consuming the armor kit. So if you have four armor kits and you pop one, it has a 75% chance of you keeping that fourth armor kit. And then you can just keep doing it over and over every 10 seconds. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. I mean, it's ridiculously strong in the dark zone. I would not be using it and I would not be showing me use it if it wasn't working. And it truly does work. With the new instant heals and this talent, it is a must have in your loadouts. Now, as far as the attributes, we have max armor for the core, max armor region, hazard, and a burn resistance mod. And that leads us to uh, our final piece, the holster. Now, this is the Claws Out holster. This is the named Wyvern wear holster that gives us pistol damage and melee damage. Now, we are only using this for the melee damage, and it also has armor region on here, so we rolled armor for the core attribute. But uh, yeah, that melee with the Lady Death is what makes this thing pop. Now, right off the bat, I know there's going to be a lot of you that are saying, well, why aren't you using the Bloody Knuckles? The Bloody Knuckles is all about melee damage and whatnot. Well, the Bloody Knuckles come with double crit and a red core attribute, and it only increases your melee damage if you melee someone. So it's not helping this build out where I'm already killing enemies with, you know, two melee hits. So having the bloody knuckles requiring you to at least melee everything twice, it kind of defeats the purpose. And having a red with double crit would completely uh, go against this build setup. There's no armor region on there. There's no hazard. There's no armor. So all of those, you know, just make it a big red flag. And that's why I'm not using the bloody knuckles. Uh, another question I'm sure, um, hmm, well, you could, let me see what I could do here. Nah, I mean, I don't know. I just need a better Heliguard mask, to be honest. But if, uh, if you could, you could easily, uh, switch those pieces around and still get the exact same result. But I'm loving this setup. I truly am. I'm loving it. Uh, with the double cores or with the uh, double attributes, I'm able to get more out of this. Where if you use uh, what, like say Emperor's Guard, you won't be able to get that second attribute, and uh, you'd be losing out on hazard if you did that. So this is probably the best setup you could have uh, to combat those skills. And even then, if you're going up against a skill, mano a mano, you're, you're going to beat them down really quick. It's not even a competition. So me nitpicking these little parts of the build, it's only if you're going up against a full team and they're focus firing you while throwing skills. I mean, that's really going to be the only way to take down this build. It's unstoppable if you're just doing 1v1. Truly, it's unstoppable. Now, talking about the skills, these are important. So using the booster hive is very important. It gives you the melee damage, the hazard, and the weapon handling. You need all of those. And we also have the striker shield, which, uh, yeah, does quite a bit of damage. And you get to hide behind it. It is a tier 6, so you get that extra, you know, 4.7 or whatever million that you get from the shield. Now, going to the stat sheet, this is for the Lady Death. We're sitting at 74.5k for weapon damage, 24.8k for PvP, 41 crit chance, 50 crit damage, 70 headshot, and then don't forget about the damage to targets out of cover. Offensive tab, we're sitting at 50% all weapons at damage bonus and 30% SMG damage bonus. So every time we're using the Lady Death, we're sitting at 80% damage bonus total. Now the gear talents, we do have kill confirmed from the backpack, the memento, and perfectly efficient from the chest piece. Going to the defensive tab, we are sitting, eh, it's rounded up to 2.1 million armor, but we're at 2,060,000 to be exact. We have 86k armor region just sitting here, but remember with the memento, getting that extra 3% armor region, that 86k will turn into 148k when everything is said and done. For the health, we're sitting at 561k health with 168k health on kill. 
Now for the explosive resistance, we are sitting at 10%. And for overall hazard, we're at 40. But then with all of those mods, we get 80% for the burn. But remember, you do get that 30% at least from the booster hive. Remember, that will dramatically increase once you get all of the skill efficiency from those memento stacks. So you're perfect for hazard, you're perfect for armor region, you've got good damage, and you can melee things to death. The synergy on this build just screams out, you know, best solo Dark Zone build. And finishing up with the stats, so going down to the defensive tab again, we have the 10% explosive resistance. Now that's due to my watch level. So here is the disclaimer for all my build videos. I am sitting at watch level 7,798, so close to 7,800. But that also means that all of these attribute boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. So if you are at or above shade level 1,000, you'll have the exact same setup. And all you have to do is copy and paste my build and you'll have the exact same numbers and results. However, if you are below shade level 1,000, some of these boxes are not going to be maxed out. Therefore, when you go to copy and paste my build, some of your numbers aren't going to add up. It's okay. Don't freak out. Just put the build together and note that whenever you get to shade level 1000, you will have the exact same setup. All you have to do is reach that shade level. It's not a guarantee or it's not a requirement. I'm just recommending you do that to get the most out of your build. But all right, everyone. That is it for the best solo Dark Zone build. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. If you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing, and let me know what you think in the comments section below. But, uh, yeah, hope uh, you take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. You know the whole shnaz. And uh, let's do some live gameplay. All I'm going to do is I'm going to do my uh, exotic run. I do this exotic run every day. Now the and just as a reminder, there will be timestamps at the end of this. So we did an intro followed by some uh, DZ clips, build breakdown, Access complete. And now we're in the uh, unedited gameplay portion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my exotic component farm. I typically like to run those in the uh, south and west just because uh, they're a lot faster to run than it is in the east. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. I like these uh, I like these routes uh, a lot more. Everything time efficient, I'm a big fan of. So just follow this exact route that I'm showing you and hopefully we can get some uh, exotic components together. We'll see. I mean, if I get shot in the back or whatever, it is what it is. What st what goes on in the dark zone stays in the dark zone. Or whatever. You know what I'm saying. Oh, that box was taken. Oh, there's box number one. Let's see if I can kill it in here really quick. Where's he at? Get back there. there we go. Hey, get that movement speed. And now I can run to the next one. Look at that. Running crazy. There we go. But all we're doing is we're checking the boxes. I hear a lot of drops over here. Why would there be drops over here? You hear that? It's like going off. Huh. Yeah, no box. Yeah, why would those drops be there? That's weird. They, like, put me into some lobby where people are hitting everything, I guess. I don't know. Let's run over here to this box. I mean, this is going to be a really, really fast gameplay portion if all the boxes have been taken. I mean, even the DZ resources has been taken. And we'll see. It's looking like this uh, lobby might have been cleaned out. All these boxes were taken. All right, let's see up here. Oh, that one's closed. Weapon ah, three. come Weapon on! Three. Oh. Get my movement speed. There we go. Oh, that 
that doesn't work if I'm on fire. Oh, I'm not on fire. Nice. And we're out. Oh, it's because of my hazard. Nice, dude. That fire, like, touched me and then it was gone. Did you see that? Pretty wicked. Dude, everything's been taken in this dark zone. This might be a dead lobby. Hmm. Maybe if I, like, hit a landmark, it'll uh, redo all the uh, chests? Maybe. I'll go back all the way to the top of the route, and then I'll take over a landmark and then do the route again, see if we get any. Yeah, all of the chests have been hit. Well, that's unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. I mean, sometimes there's people in the dark zone farming for exotics. I mean, that's just the way it is. Damn, they took all the DZ resources, too. Oh, I hear someone. Oh, there's more drops over here. Hmm. Okay. There are two more chests I can check, but they're taking all of the DZ resources, too. Well, that stinks. Let me know if you ever do these routes and everything's been taken. I mean, every one of these boxes. Now, I will admit, I mean, I, I've been talking about this exotic route for a couple years now, but still. That stinks. I mean, they left all the gear items, but who cares about that? They're just purple gear. More drops. I'm hearing more drops. A lot more drops. Dude, it's like I showed up here too late. I just got a DZ key. How's that? This is weird, man. Because I went to DZ East, it transferred me into a lobby. I come over here and it's like this entire freaking server's dead. Like, is there anyone even doing... Oh, there's two landmarks being hit. It's crazy. But if they're farming, then I guess I can't really be surprised. I'd hit all the uh, exotics, too. Yeah, whatever. I guess we'll run over to DZ West, because I bet this chest is taken, too. Let's see, here's the last chest right here. Target is here. Yep. It's been hit. GG's. Maybe after I hit this landmark it'll reset the chest. One point five million with that melee. Are here. Oh, whose drone's that? Oh, rogue defender drone detected. Oh, there's three people here. And yeah, GG's guys. You see how they're just like trying to. <laughs> yeah, and GG's. I mean, that would be the only way to kill me, is to have three people shoot me in the back at the same time. That was, uh... That was good. I'll give them A for effort. Oh, are they gonna follow me around? Nice! Okay. They want... They really want that 3v1, though. Oh, there's... Oh, they just picked up the fourth. Ah, I see. Oh, the burn's not hitting me. Sorry. See my armor region? Might, might be the best build to get away from people shooting you in the back, huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll go pop this extraction. Oh, 
Rogue Mender Seeker Mind detected. Rogue Mender Seeker Mind. Hostile Mender Seeker Mind detected. Why can't I? Oh, I don't have any gear on me. Oh, I was about to pop that extraction. I don't even have gear on me. That is what it is. But you can see, I mean, they gave up. Couldn't kill me. Peace out. And I'm doing my exotic farm anyways. I'm not trying to 1v4. What the fuck do you think this is? Uh-oh, they're taking on... Defender They're drone. taking on another Detected. lonely farmer. You gotta love that part of the DZ. Getting ganked. Or at least that's what they used to call it. What, what do you guys call it? Put it in the comments. What, what do you call it when a team hits you in the back? Especially when you're solo. Like, they, they tried to get me, but no dice. Alright, so we did that whole farm... I mean, I can try to do the farm again, but I think that it's still not reset. So let me see. I'm gonna go back to that first box. But if it's not open, then I'm gonna go over to DC West. Because it's looking like we have farmers in here. I need some exotics. I already showed you what the build can do, so. This is just me trying to get some exotics at the same time have some fun all right let's see if the boxes are good nope boxes are still taken dang all right we'll run over to the west see if we can get some exotics did i even get one exotic i don't even think i did dang yeah we'll go over let's see what it do Extraction helo. Almost within range. Extraction helo. Leaving invaded dog zone. Alright, so we did the DZ south route. Let's do the DZ east route. I mean, west, my bad. I don't typically do DZ east. DZ east, in my opinion, is too uh, big and spread out. I don't know why. That's just the way. All right, so if we have players there, there's a player there. Let me do the route. Let me do the route here. Uh, yeah, I can start the route right here. Okay. Start my DZ route. Because what you want to do is you want them to be occupied while you hit all your boxes and get all your exotics. And then whenever you're ready to start bonking, uh, start bonking. I'm gonna hit this one on the left first and then I'll double back. Let's see if I get lucky with this one. Right over cheer. Boom, ba -dum. There we go. Extraction called. Extraction. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. And, oh, no exotic, but I did get a DC key, so that's good. Let me get some drops, let me get some drops real quick. I'm not going to clear this landmark. I just want to go to the next one. Because I know the chests are up, so that's good. That means I can try to get all my exotics right now while everyone's busy. 
because you can see they're extracting all of that, hitting landmarks. Ooh, there's a person in front of me hitting this landmark, though. Hope they don't hit that chest. Let me hit the chest. We'll see. That landmark was still trying to shoot me? What's up with that? Ah, he did. He just freaking hit it. Ah. All right. Let me get the next one before he hits it. That's all you have to do. I mean, you're, you're basically racing people to get these exotics. Or you hit them and then you can, uh, you know, try to transfer to a different lobby and then hit it again. But good luck. That's sporadic at best. Try to get these ex exotics. If all the other ones were hit and that guy hit the last one, I might be a little upset. Like, it is such a grind to get these freaking exotics, and I really don't feel like playing Countdown. Might as well just wait for another global event and just farm the caches that way. Enemy patrol detected. I'm really not a big fan of Countdown anymore. just seems so long and drawn out like you have to have at least 20 minutes to spare to hopefully get 200 requisition tokens I mean which is fine but then that's one exotic where in the dark zone if you're lucky if you're lucky if big if uh, you can get around 10 in like 20 minutes but that's if you're lucky and you can hit all these chests without any sort of interference which sometimes I'm able to but other times I have horrible luck like right here I mean they're all hit that sucks man Eh, let's see I can try to transfer but I really don't want to eh, it is what it is we'll just extract Hostile patrol detected. I was gonna try to get some exotics with you guys but it's looking like it might be a a no-go right now. These DZs are bumping with farmers. Taking it all. We'll try again later. But alright. I am going to extract. I'm get out of here. Nothing too crazy. I was just trying to get some exotics. But damn. There you go. Hang out with the old kamikaze. Extraction called for. Yeah, they're going rogue. Where is that? It's off over there. Let's see what's popping. What's popping? Oop, piece of candy. NPCs. I'm surprised we haven't gotten a spawn yet. Come on, then, there we go. Agent. Right as I look away. That one hit melee is just sick. Oh. Extraction Hilo. Almost within range. Hostile patrol detected. Grenade, out. Yeah, I see you. Ready I see pickup. you, baby. Neither is on site. You don't have a bag, dude. I know what you're doing. Rogue 
Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Ooh. Hey, man. I'll pick you up. Patch yourself up, soldier. You're still in the fight. There you go. Hey, Carla. Yeah, man. No worries. Loading done. Ready to leave. You is returning to base. There we go. Nice. GG's, man. Got to finish that with picking up a, picking up a lonely agent. Really cool, man. All right. I mean, I guess that gameplay wasn't completely useless. Able to do a little bit of PvP and help a partner out, so that's cool. Rogue agent nearby. Uh oh. Nearby agent has become rogue. Rogue restore alive. Detected. Mm-hmm. All with it. No, you're good. Healer versus bonk build. This could take forever. You wanna see what I can do? This no, is you can't take forever. I got a mic too, bro, but we got a mic too. This build you got is fucking incredible, bro. Please just, please just hit me or something like that. Mm-hmm. Hitting you, I, I stopped shooting you. I tell you that. I got you. I got you. Okay, okay. I got you. Get rid of the drone. I got you. I got you. We can get you. back to it. I got you. I got you. We'll, we'll kill the NPC. Where you going? Kill the NPC, man. Can't you just say that? Hey, by the way, shout out to this guy. I'm saying, are you using this shield to hit me? That's some fire shit. Build is what gives you the full. Yeah! Now that is fire. Oh, that is definitely Rogue fire. Restore hive I that is good. Hostile restore hive detected. Um, on thing, what's the name? Something like that. So that like gives you back your uh, med kits or something like that. That's why. Mm -hmm. Let's head it back. Ellie, that is fire. Get the fish in. It is just so cheesy. That shit is. Oh my god. That is. A, that is. A, that is. That is fire, bro. <laughs> Yo, did you just have a mic, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I do have a mic, but he can't hear me. So what if I, yeah, what if I shoot your shield? Dude, the fuck you 
Do you just wait for it to come back? Like... Cause it's like, once... Bro! And then you just, yeah, and then you just burn me with the fucking what's in it. I ain't gonna hold you. And that shit... It, 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 I ain't gonna lie to you. You took that fucking efficient shit. You, you made that shit fire, bro. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Then all I would have to do is just stay away from you, really, honestly. Okay, you won. I'm out of here. Right here. Now you can't say you won. I'm, I'm out of here. Rogue, restore hive detected. Hostile, restore hive detected. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you better stay Hostile defender drone. Detected. That shit is fire. It really is. <laughs> but I ain't got more bullets. Detected. I really can't fight you. But how are you hitting me from so far away? Because you're technically not even really next to me, but you're getting it, and that's weird. Are you cheating a little bit? Woo! Got him! Rogue agent neutralized. <sighs> GG's. Shout out to TLC. TLC Bro, still ammo. creeping. I, I, I couldn't even Shout out. anymore. I told Shout you out, that. brother. I, I've been stopped attacking you. I couldn't have no Shout out. I, I, I get it, man. You ran out of ammo. I get it. GG's. GG's. That was, that was a funny way to end the video. I hope you enjoyed. Hit the thumbs up. Support the channel. You know the whole spiel. I'm Kamikaze Vondu, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.